Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's Top 5 Camps. Now, as most of you know, I've been away this weekend, so I've not actually judged them this week. In fact, to be brutally honest with you, I've not even um, <laughs> looked at the submissions until, you know, doing the video right now. Anyway, with all that being said, your judge this time round is fellow Top 5 contestant and camp builder, Daz Mead. Let's see what he's chosen. All right, then here goes. In the number five spot, we have TX Sakura with Billy Goat's Underpass Emporium. Simply, simply lovely. Right, so first impressions of this build. The location's a pretty brave choice. Building under bridges isn't the easiest of endeavours, I must say. However, Sakura, you seem to have done a decent job of actually getting the camp to uh, fit in this spot. And let me tell you guys, right, that's half the battle. Like I say, building under these bridges, it can be a little bit of a kick in the penis. Not a massive one, just a, just a minor one. Now, in terms of the structure you've actually put together, um, straight up honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't mean that in an horrible way. It's just not really my style. I mean, I guess you are limited to what you can do underneath a bridge, but... I don't know. I've just never been a massive fan of this kind of camp. But again, that, that's not to say you haven't done a good job on it. Like I say, you've done really well to actually get this structure in the location. Exterior aside though, right? That's only half of it. Let's take a look on the inside with it being an emporium. I'm guessing it's going to be filled with a lot of stuff. And yeah. I'm not disappointed. Straight up, you know, mate, that is a really well-decorated camp. I like all the junk you've got in there. I like how well thought out it is. Yeah, decor-wise, mate, I can't fault it one bit. Exterior-wise, like I mentioned, it's not my cup of tea, but that's not just exclusive to your build. I've seen very few under-the-bridge camps that I actually really did like. Um, but yeah, overall, solid work, my friend. Oh, shit, no, actually, sorry. I can't say my friend anymore because people seem to think that's why you guys are placing in the top five so yes thank you very much random stranger on the internet for uh, entering this week and congratulations on the number five spot okay then so in the number four spot we have kiff d with the tiny flowers market and i do believe this is only your second entry into the top five isn't it I i do believe it is and i'm glad that you have submitted another camp as well because this is a phenomenal build Anyway, first things first, right? I love the actual structure. Um, it is quite simple to do. It is quite small, but there is a few little uh, tricks that have been used in this. Them overhanging slopey boy roofs, for example. Again, it's a really good mix of a simple build with a little bit of, you know, wizardry thrown into there. It, it's cool. I, I, I do rate this, Kiff. Uh, really phenomenal looking camp from the outside of it. And the, the way you scrapped it up as well and how junky it is. Yep, 10 out of 10 from me, pal. Solid job. And I must say as well, before we take a look on the inside of it, your decor on the exterior, yeah, it, it's, um, it's pretty much bang on. Okay then, so on to the interior and wow. Perfectly decorated. That is the best way I can put it. This is spot on. I mean, obviously, we know it's a flower shop, so we were expecting the flowers and that, but all the other junk that you've put in here, the way you've actually put it together and kept it in theme... Ah, you've killed it, pal. One of my favourite camps by far this week. Thank you very much for entering. Congratulations on the number four spot. Coming in at number three, we have Texas MRFR with the Zamorok. Sorry, no, the Zamorok just had, you know runescape um, memories unlocked there yeah let's just uh, lock them away before i uh get interested and start playing it again anyhow lost my train of thought yeah texas is camp now daz must have had a difficult one place in this because <sighs> this camp is very impressive from the outside of it but to get the whole picture of it you've got to go into the shelter now, as we all know, shelter builds are limited to honourable mentions, so Daz could have only judged the castle part of it, which is unfortunate because, let me tell you, the inside of this thing, it, it's bloody impressive. Now, I will say, though, the outside of this build is fantastic. Um, I love how you've actually made a convincing-looking castle. It, it's not easy in this game, let me tell you. Especially using normal wall pieces at least. I think the most convincing one I've ever seen is Paiu's. And that was just made up entirely of Wavy Willard's defensive walls. So for Texas to actually make some at luck as castle-like as he has done here. It, it is an impressive feat, guys. It, it really is. I like the towers as well. How you've actually done them round and not just squared them off. It does take a few extra steps, but come on. It's worth it, isn't it? That makes a massive difference. I bloody wish I could show you interior of this thing. In fact, you know what? I can show it you. But like I say, just be aware. We can't judge this camp based off that. So if you're questioning the position of it, then <laughs> that, that's your reason why. 
Texas, phenomenal build you put together here. I understand why you've split it into a shelter and a normal camp because that build is quite chonky. I mean, Jesus Christ, would you have any budget left to decorate the interior if um, if you hadn't used a shelter? I don't think you would. Not effectively, anyway. Thank you very much for entering this week. Congratulations on the number three spot. Adds off to your mute. In the number two spot, we have Silver Bunny with the Dripping Cock build. My, my apologies, the Sipping Spot build. Yeah, that, that was totally um, intentional. Uh, I apologize for my childish humor. Anyhow and any who's though, as they say in um, North Carolina. This build is amazing. Like, quite frankly, it is stunning. Now, yes, Silver Bunny is my friend, and I'm not just saying that because of that reason. I'm saying it because it's a bloody good camp build. And bearing in mind, guys, I did not judge this week, right? So please refrain from having a bitch fit down in the comments. Or do, because believe it or not, it actually helps me out. Anyhow, back to the camp. What Bunny's done here is what I'd describe as a Western saloon. Now, I'm not American, so I don't know exactly what they should look like but i've seen a couple of them cowboy films this reminds me of a gaff from one of those ghost towns that you've got where some cowboy wearing arseless chaps would shoot someone through ed for no apparent reason y you get what i'm driving at don't you it's a bloody western bar is what i'm trying to say now in terms of the lighting i do like it um you know what i think about that though bunny sometimes it does take away from the immersion however it is a toss-up between do you want it to look fruity with some nice colorful lighting or do you want to make it look truly realistic and i, I think this one is um it's pretty much bang it middle in my opinion i mean come on mon petit fours how many times have you seen an old building festooned with led lights lit up like a council house at christmas yeah you know exactly what i'm talking about don't you yeah i've gone a little bit off track here aren't i don't even know where i'm up to myself uh yeah bunny you've done a great job on the exterior i like the overall design Let, let's take a look on the inside of it Mm -hmm. yep great success this actually does look like a western bar on it like i said though i've never been to one so i'm just going off what my simple british mind assumes one to look like either way you cut it though western or not it looks like a bar that's what she's gone for so amazing decorating matches in with the theme of the build perfectly silver bunny thank you very much for entering this week congratulations on the number two spot have i um, mentioned the camp location though yeah but we'll just leave that one alone all right then we have come to the number one spot and who do you think's got it this week well just before i tell you i want to make you guys aware that after i have revealed said winner we are going to have two honorable mentions so just bear that in mind anyhow with that being said this week's winner is moonlight cowboy with the bear bungalow build i i don't know what that was sorry my brains it's gone it's it's finally happened brain cells falling out of my ear okay we're all right again um yeah that happens quite a lot so yeah moonlight cowboy with his bayou bungalow build let's see what weirdness he's done to this because this guy cannot build a camp normally Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, and there we go, guys. The whole entire A-frame aspect of this build is done using several thousand roof pieces. That must have been a kick in the penis to do. Uh, layering all them roofs on top of each other, that Bernie Boy 1200 must have been working all the time. But I must say, it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Aye, I think we can all agree that is a very impressive structure. And there's something else I've just noticed in all, actually. Um, all the floor pieces are also stacked up roof pieces. Yeah, there's um, <laughs> there's been a lot of work and a lot of time got into this. Now, I know it looks rather, I don't think simple is the right word, but it's a lot more harder to do than it looks, if that makes any sense. Very, very impressive indeed. Now, interior-wise, um, I think you've done a pretty solid job on it, mate. I think the exterior is the main the main focal point of it if they gets what i'm saying like that's not to say you've done a bad job on interior i just think the the, the structure is um is the most impressive part of it i do like your tv though that's um that's pretty nice very nice moon this is a pretty sweet camp and it's more than worth it of the number one spot thank you very much for entering this week pal right then so that wraps up the top five builds let's have a look at this week's honorable mentions yes and we're going to start off with hmm who should we go for it's got to be batandra ain't it with this what i assume to be a skull build I i'm not sure what that word is um the schedel hole als one six fly stacking sorry 
Jesus, I um, I need to sit down after that. Yeah, flaming fleshy skull. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's a skull that's on body fire, right? In my opinion, this is properly impressive. The way Batandra's made it out of what I assume to be meat bags, I can't really make it out at this point, is actually, um, it's really clever. I've never seen a skull before either. This is a new one to me. Not only does it look good from the inside, the interior's uh, very well decorated too. You could actually live in this as a camp, which with novelty kind of builds like this isn't always the case. But Andra, SSC, I got ya! Thank you very much for entering this week and congratulations on the honourable mention. Simply, simply one. All right, so for our final honourable mention, we have a new entrant to the competition. It's Town the Hillbilly with the Backdoor Ringer Gentleman's Club. Is, is that a TikTok symbol I see? <sighs> not, not sure how to feel about that. Anyway, right, the camp itself, it's pretty cool. Um, you don't see many gentlemen. No, that's a why you see a lot of gentlemen's clubs. However, this one is very well put together. The exterior, yeah, it's okay. Not a bad looking build, but the inside of it, especially the wet floor side, that must be because, you know, the um, owners of this club take great care in keeping it clean. You, you wouldn't want to slip and hurt yourself, would you? Hillbilly, thank you very much for entering this week. Congratulations on the honourable mention. That about wraps it up. Now, we only had 19 entries this week, which is lower than usual so i hope to see more of you submitting this time round thank you to everybody who did put the builds in though as ever i want to say a massive thank you to all my channel members and patreons i know i usually put your names up at the end but there's literally hundreds now so it's um it's getting pretty impossible to do and that's all thanks to you guys donating in streams as well so again much appreciated it, it is um it's rather nice to see i must say Anyhow, I will love you and leave you. I'll catch you at next one and have fun, everybody.